Hey there guys, my name's Agent Bruno and take notice of them trunk boundaries, I'll change that configuration soon. Okay, so what the video is about, as you can see, you know, in the title, Soul Shards, how to make them in 1.52. Now in you know previous versions of 1.47, um you would have to use a soul forge, put some corrupted essence, which is basically vile dust and glowstone dust, put together no, glowstone dust, vile dust put together to make some other dust. And then you put it in the soul forge as your coal, basically. And then your diamond goes in, and then in about 10 minutes, it makes your it makes your soul shard. Anyway, there's a new recipe. It's just a multi box. Well, it's a structure like this. So what you want to do is you want to place it on the ground, because it won't work out. And you do need endstone. So, yeah. Get yourself some of that sandstone. It's uh, you know not the easiest thing yet, but yeah, try your best. Personally, I'd find um, you know I'd find somewhere you know where you can find the endstone. If you've got an ender pouch or something with you, craft an ender pouch. Take the ender pouch with you. Go inside the end, grab a load of endstone, shove it in your ender pouch, and then just jump off into the void with only a pickaxe on you, do you know what I mean? You're not losing much at all. Okay, anyway, let's just click this, and you can see we got a soul shard. But what happens is... Where's my soul shard gone? There it is. What happens is, is when you make the soul shard, these other blocks, the neverack, the two neverack blocks, and the glowstone block, turn back into endstone. So, every use, you're going to need another four netherrack and one glowstone. So, hit the middle, glowstone. And like I say, it's just so simple now. Um, the only thing I don't like is the endstone part, but at the end of the day, this, you know, these soul shards are so powerful. I think they're just making it a bit more balanced because at the end of the day, they're saying, well... For those people, it can be bothered to go to the end, kill the ender dragon, or, you know, get some endstone. Because there's no other way of getting it. Unless you go there. Then, they can use the mod, and, you know, obliterate it using, you know, E3. So, yeah, that's how you make your soul shards. Uh, now, I'm going to work on something pretty cool. Um, I'm actually going to work on a, a diamond maker, using minium stones. And uh, then I'm going to see if it's good enough to put on a video. Anyway, guys, this is how to make your new soul shards of 1.52. I've been Agent Brano. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this hep uh, this video. If you've enjoyed the video, guys, just leave me some comments and tell me what you think of this, uh, you know, the new structure and how you do it. Very simple way of doing it. I'll put a link to the soul shards thread uh, down in the description. So, if you go down there, soul shards, you'll see exactly where it says. So, basically... Say there's a block here, a block here, a block here, that would be A, 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 and then this would be E, 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 N, 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 and that's how it works. Anyway guys, I'm going to shoot off, and I'll see you later.